What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Burleson, Texas at Palm Harbor Homes and we're getting ready to check out the La Bella. This home, I probably just butchered that name, but <laughs> I'll leave the description or the the model number down in the description. Huge porch though. I know we're right by the road. I'll get us away from that here momentarily. But love that front porch. Anyway, this home, this is a four bedroom, three bath home. And it sits inside of approximately 2,897 square feet. So absolutely massive home. It has uh, not only a gigantic master suite, but it also has a huge in-law suite. Like I walked in this thing and was like, holy cow, where do, uh, <laughs> where does the closet start and the bedroom begin? You know what I mean? Or end or whatever. Anyway, uh, in terms of the footprint, this home is uh, 41 feet by 76 feet. So quite large, quite hefty. And uh, it has a price tag of approximately $300,000. Of course, that may or may not be the price that you pay if you did decide to make this home yours. But uh, shoot. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I certainly am, especially as soon as I walked in this house. Woo, I melted. Anyway, let me go ahead and get you up onto the porch real quick. I always feel like I have to yell whenever I'm up by the road. You know what I mean? It's just tons of cars. We're actually right off of I-20. And, uh, you know, Texas, they got these front end roads, but that interstate's right there. Anyway, if you want any more information before we get inside, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right, here we go. Man, this thing. Oh man, y'all, this, this home. I love touring these triple wides just because they always have such cool layouts and they're so unique, every one of them. You know what I mean? And these Palm Harbor ones. I think the last time we toured some Palm Harbor triple wides, we were up in, oh, maybe we got one in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but we also got some in Albany, uh, Oregon. Anyway, enough rambling. This is your front door when you do a first walk in. And then you have tons of things happening. Oh my goodness. Like all the things, almost overwhelming. Anyway, we'll start over here to the right hand side. Uh, this is where the two secondary bedrooms are. There's a little corridor right here. We'll go ahead and go into the first of the two bedrooms on this side. This sits up towards the front of the home. Got a small little vaulted ceiling in here, but nice big room. This thing is super spacious. You got some nice wood shelves as well with them wood hanging dowels. I always like that. Palm Harbor, they're probably one of my one of my favorite builders to tour. Just because their homes are always done up so nice. You know what I mean? Like I feel like when you spend money with Palm Harbor, and there's a couple other builders out there as well. Um, but these guys just happen to be one of my favorites. Anyway, in between the two bedrooms, you've got the first full bathroom, you got a single vanity, nice vanity light, toilet. Ooh, a shower curtain. Got the shower and tub combo. Nice craftsman style door. And then into the second, I'll get you over here. Second secondary bedroom. Kind of angled ceiling, because I think all of it meets in the middle. You got a window, this sits about a uh, quarter of the way down the home on the side of the house and then into its closet. And now we get to get into all the fun stuff. Yeah, as soon as I found out that they had a triple wide here, I was like, yes, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, and then you get here, you, you never know what it's going to be or what it's going to look like. But then when you walk in here and it looks like this, like so nice. I love it. You got these windows right here in the living room looking out onto that big old front porch. You got this nice cozy fireplace, little gas fireplace right here. You got the mantle, almost like a flush hearth. Tons of space. Then from there you can come into, this is like a, 
I guess it would just be your dining room. I was gonna say it would be like a formal dining room, but there's probably some space over there if you wanna put like a little breakfast table too. Uh, but you got the like reverse tray ceiling right here. Nice little light fixture in the middle. Tons of room to put plenty of things. And then next to that, you got the column that, it almost makes it feel like it's its own room, you know what I mean? This, uh, and I guess we're standing in, in the middle. Uh, this is like the flatter part of the roof and then it tapers off uh, on either side. But then from there you transition into the kitchen. Great big island, tons of room for some seats. I love the little accent stone on this side of the island. Got a fun little drop down too over the top of it with your pendant lights. Super funky pendant lights. Plenty of cabinets. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. Let's see what's on this far end. Not a lot. But then you have tons of cabinets in here. You got a whole stack of them right here, and this goes almost all the way up to the ceiling, but not quite. Ooh, there's some drawers too. I didn't even see those. Got the refrigerator, plenty of counter space. You got this, well, I like the black sink looking out this big old window too. And these slide over to the side. Got the dishwasher, the stove in the corner with the range hood. Again, nice backsplash matching what's over there on the island. Got the built-in microwave. Let's open up some of these uppers too. And then what amazing kitchen would be complete without a nice pantry. But really nice setup. Now, this is actually pretty cool too. Now, this is like a little office space, a little flex room. It could be a number of things if you want to be like a little craft room, little knitting room, little kids play area. You know what I mean? Like you could put a little baby gate right here. I've got Rose, so <laughs> that would be perfect for him. Just like a little game room. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you would turn that into sitting right off of the kitchen. And it's actually really convenient for a kid room because while we're in here cooking and stuff, we can be keeping an eye on him. Anyway, just off of the kitchen, as well as the dining room, you've got this kind of den area. This is probably going to be like where you're all hanging out in the evenings, you know what I mean? Got another tray ceiling up here. Plenty of room. You got a little media center along the back wall. And it does, I, I didn't really point them out. I'm sure you saw them while we were in the dining room. Uh, you got the barn doors that you can close all that off separate the area then back behind us you've got another doorway this actually leads in from the side of the home but it comes through the laundry room kind of like slash mud room area you've got i think there's washer and dryer hookups around the corner but you got a little outlet right here so you can put a freezer which is nice because that's close to the kitchen you got a wash basin little folding table right here oh <laughs> that's fun yeah i can't tell you how many socks i don't know why like what happens that we all go missing socks in the washing room dryer? You know what I mean? They go in there. I know, I've paid attention. But then only one comes out. It's ridiculous. Maybe if y'all got a hack, let me know. Maybe like put my socks in like a little bag or something, you know what I mean? But then you got washer dryer hookups, nice little shelf up above it. And then back behind us, just a little cut out, little shelf right here, not real deep or anything. See, these things are, ooh, this home is so fun. All right, now we're working back towards the master bedroom and the in-law suite or junior suite, whatever you want to call it. You got a little hall closet right here. And then another one all the way at the end of the hall. This is more like a linen closet, I think. Nice shelves in here. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and start to the left-hand side. This is where the junior suite's gonna be, but it also shares uh, a bathroom with the hallway. 
So if you're in here watching movies and stuff, you just jet over here and you're good to go. We got the single vanity with the makeup vanity. Nice big counter space. Vanity light. Big old built-in for some linens. Oop. Got the drawer down below it. Toilet, and then you've got a nice shower and tub combo in here as well. And in this room, yo, wait, it has a closet, okay? Now, it has a closet and then it also has like this little bonus room area. I'm not sure what I would turn this into. Like, I'll show it to you in just a minute. Obviously, this is gonna be the bedroom, but like it is, I was like, man, it's just like a walk-in closet. It just doesn't have any shelves or anything. But shoot, this closet's pretty good size too. Nothing compared to what I'm about to show you though. Now this is on the floor plan. It shows it as a bonus room, which is cool if it is like an ensuite. Then you have like your own little, uh, you know, this could be like a little sitting room. Or you could have it as a bigger closet. I'm not real sure. Again, let me know what you would do down in the comments. It also has its own closet. Not a real big one, but still has one. So, I mean, if you wanted to, it could even be another bedroom. If you've got, you know, multiple children or something, or they have a party or sleepover. I don't know. I'm in kid mode. You know what I mean? But anyway, you come in from this door into the master bedroom, and this thing is gigantic as well. This sits all the way towards the back of the home. You got your own private little sitting area right here as soon as you walk in, which is super nice. At the end of the night, you're away from all the, you know, actual kids' bedrooms. Y'all come in here, relax, unwind for the day. The bedroom portion itself, another nice big area. Tons of space. Then you got the double doors that lead into this ensuite, which, you know, whoo, this home, just every turn has something amazing. So you got the double vanity right here with the bowls. I love the raised bowls. And then that is separated by the makeup vanity in the middle. Again, you got these kind of cool, modern looking pendant lights hanging down over the top of the vanity itself. And then you have on both sides some linen closets, cabinets, whatever the case may be. Now, I wasn't sure, but I saw the markings. So I saw them marked up in the kitchen too. But I think that's just the pattern. It gives it like a, a worn look. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I noticed it when we were in the kitchen. But I was like, you know, maybe, maybe something got scratched up. But I think it's just the pattern. And you got this huge garden tub right here up underneath of this window. I think it's massive. And then you got another great big walk-in shower right here. Standalone shower. Got the rainfall shower head. Got a nice big bench along the back. Then next to that, you got the water closet. Little window up above it. And then into this gigantic closet oh my goodness this thing just wraps around so you got shelves and built-ins that's just one side wait till i turn you around you got the full length mirror back behind us and then this thing just keeps on going i mean this this thing right here this is giving some of those million dollar homes we tour run for its money as far as the closet Ooh. That is nice. But let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. It has tons of stuff. So y'all light it up down there. I, I want to hear what you're going to think about or what you're going to do with all these different rooms. There are tons of them. Anyway, if you do want any more information on this model, you can find that by clicking the link right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can filter them down by price, number of bedrooms, square footage, all that different fun stuff, even by state. So like you can find all the homes that we've ever toured that you can purchase in your state. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face.
in the next one.